All right, Pouring Nation, today we're going to do a very quick experiment with the golden color pouring matte medium and the color pouring medium gloss. Now what I'm trying to do is see if I can't recreate the cloud pour with the matte medium, uh, matte medium for my white color and the gloss medium for my brilliant red and brilliant blue. So what I'm hoping happens is because this is matte and this is gonna be in the white, that the density and the interaction that it has with the gloss medium makes it spread out. So let's test it out with a ring pour. All right, so just going in for a bit of a close-up, we definitely did get some cloud-type cells there. Not near as big as with the enamel that a lot of people use, but we definitely got a different shape because we were using two different pouring mediums. And some of those areas are beautiful. So, I think this experiment was a success. I probably want to try with a little bit thicker paint. This was the paint where it drops into the cup and barely makes a mound and then immediately goes away. And if you drizzle the paint around the top of the cup, it disappears instantly. So yes, this is one way to do something similar to a cloud pour where you kind of get integration in the layers of paint. So for those of you that haven't been here before, uh, I'm David. On this channel we like to do experiments and talk about how to improve your acrylic paint pouring. If this is the type of content you like, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified for our weekly videos, and keep pouring.